Good morning, everyone. We're going to try a science experiment today. Children at home, if you want to try this, you need to ask a parent first, okay? I've got some food coloring here, and I'm going to try doing something. Ooh, I love e experiment. I, I can't see what you're doing. Have patience, everybody. We'll see when it's ready. Okay, it's just about ready here. Okay, hmm. Tell me, what picture do you see here? Um, it looks like some sort of animal to me. Maybe like a lion's face? I see a sumo wrestler. It looks like a flower blooming to me. Oh, those are interesting. And what about you at home? What do you see in the picture? Oh, that's an interesting idea. Well, what were we supposed to see? There wasn't any right or wrong answer to that, Polly. It was just a picture and what you see in the picture. But it does make me think about today's Bible story. And Samuel is going to anoint the new king of Israel. And God tells him that he's going to go and show him who it is. But Samuel thinks he knows what God's looking for. He wants to look at the outside. But God tells him that he looks on the inside at people's hearts. Today's big idea is, God helps us see people the way he sees them. Okay, why don't we say that together? God, God helps us see, see people, people the way, way he, he sees, sees them. them. I can tell this is going to be a good story. Yeah. Holly, what's the matter? Some kids were making fun of my hair color today. Oh, well, I'm sorry they hurt your feelings. It doesn't feel good when people look at our outsides and ignore who we are on the inside. Polly, just remember that God is not like that. He always knows who we really are, and he loves us. This month's memory verse is a great reminder of this. Why don't we learn it together? Okay, thanks TJ and Sheldon. Repeat after me. The Lord does not look at the things people look at. The, the Lord, Lord does, does not, not look, look at, at the things people look at. People look at the outside of a person. People, people look, look at, at the, the outside, outside of a person. person. But the Lord looks at what is in the heart. But, but the, the Lord, Lord looks, looks at, at what, what is, is in, in the heart. 1 Samuel chapter 16 verse 7. 1 First First Samuel, Samuel chapter 16 verse 7. That's a good one, Sheldon. God sees what's in my heart. And we know that you are a special person, Polly. God loves you, Polly, and so do we. Thanks, guys. And Journey Kids, you are special to God, too. He loves you very much. What time of day was Adam created? Not sure. Maybe sometime in the morning? A little before Eve. Hey Polly, when was medicine first mentioned in the Bible? Um, I don't know, when? When God gave Moses two tablets. Oh boy. Do you have a funny joke to share? Record yourself saying it and send it in. You could be featured on an episode of JKTV.
portion of Samuel 16, verses 6, 13. My name is Samuel, and I am here to find the one. Hello, Jesse. Bring me your sons, because I am here to find the one. Let me show you my strong sons. Hi, Daddy. Not the one. Hi, Daddy. Definitely not the one. Not him. Hi, Daddy. You're not the one this time. Hi, Daddy. Definitely not. Hi, Daddy. No comprendo. Floating in the water. Nope. Are these all your sons? <laughs> this is, I only got one son is little. I'm, da hi, I'm David. He is the one. <laughs> Today we're going to read 1 Samuel 16, verses 6 to 13. When they arrived, Samuel took one look at Eliab and thought, surely this is the Lord's anointed. But the Lord said to Samuel, don't judge by his appearance or height or for I have rejected him. The Lord doesn't see things the way you see them. People judge by outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. Then Jesse told his son Abadab to step forward and walk in front of Samuel. But Samuel said, this is not the one the Lord has chosen. Next, Jesse summoned Shammah. But Samuel said, neither is this the one the Lord has chosen. In the same way, all seven of Jesse's sons were presented to Samuel. But Samuel said to Jesse, the Lord has not chosen any of these. Then Samuel asked, are these all the sons you have? There is still the youngest, Jesse replied, but he's out in the fields watching the sheep and goats. Send for him at once, Samuel said. We will not sit down to eat until he arrives. So Jesse sent for him. He was dark and handsome with beautiful eyes. The Lord said, this is the one anointed, anoint him. So as David stood there among his brothers, Samuel took the flask of olive oil and he had brought and anointed David with the oil. And the Spirit of the Lord came powerfully upon David from that day. Then Samuel returned to Ramah. Are you feeling better now, Polly? Yeah, I'm feeling a lot better. Shannon, some kids were being mean to Polly, but we reminded her that God loves her and sees what's on the inside, just like he did with David. Wow, you guys are really good encouragers. That is a very good reminder for all of us, even for grown-ups. Do you remember what our big idea story is today? God helps us see people the way he sees them. Great job. So just like earlier when Sarah made her picture for us, sometimes we don't all see exactly what, we're, what we think it's supposed to be, even more so with people. 
if we were to look all the way back to when God created the world and he created everything in it, how did he make people? Who were we supposed to be made like? Well, he made us in his image. He made us to be like him, boys and girls. Yes, and we are all special in his eyes. That's right. It doesn't matter what we look like on the outside. It doesn't matter how well we do in school. It doesn't matter how popular we are with other people. What matters is, is that God loves us on the inside and the outside for who we are. I'm glad to know that God loves me just the way I am. And we love you too, Polly. Journey kids, let's have our blessing as we go. May the Lord bless you and protect you. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show you his favor and give you his peace. Bye. Bye. Bridge power! Yay! Are we done? I believe so. Yay! I don't need to cry anymore. I can be happy. What time of day was Adam created? Not sure. Maybe sometime in the morning? A little before Eve. <sighs> <laughs> What's the line? What time of day was that at? What? Okay. Yep, yeah, you got it. What's my... Ah, uh, ready as I'll ever be.